you at Five Star, a resume of the upcoming three movies to be shown here at the Five Star Cinema on the premises of the Five Star Premier Residences of Dallas, Texas. I'm Dr. Mel Ginsberg, spokesperson for the movie committee at Five Star, and tonight I'll be looking at the resumes for the movies to be shown on Saturday, January 27th, Sunday, January 28th, and Wednesday, January 31st. And now, let's get to those resumes. On Saturdays these days, we're showing old, new, and whatever. And this coming Saturday, January 27th, our movie is Coal Miner's Daughter. It came out in 1980. It lasts two hours and five minutes. The director is Michael Apted. It is described as a musical drama biography, and it stars Sissy Spacek as Loretta Lynn in Spacek's Academy Award performance. Yes, Spacek won the Academy Award playing Loretta Lynn in this movie. The movie also stars Beverly D'Angelo as Patsy Cline. Also, Tommy Lee Jones, an Academy Award winner, Levon Realm, Phyllis Goyens, and William Sanderson. And now the resume for Coal Miner's Daughter. Raised in rural Kentucky, poverty, and married at the age of 13, Loretta Lynn, SpaceX, begins writing and singing her own country songs in her early 20s. With the tireless help of her husband Mooney, Tommy Lee Jones, Loretta rises from local honky-tonks and small-time record deals to national tours and hit singles, befriending her idol, Patsy Cline, Beverly D'Angelo, and becoming a country music icon, despite the toll stardom takes on her family and her marriage. Winner of seven Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, Coal Miner's daughter Sissy Spacek was coached by Loretta Lynn and did her own singing. The movie also features cameos by country music legends Ernest Tubb, Roy Acuff, and Minnie Pearl. Coal Miner's daughter will be shown Saturday, January 27th, with a matinee performance at 2 o'clock and an evening performance at 7.15. And now to our Sunday movie, which as always is old, new, or whatever. And this coming Sunday, January 28th, the movie is Binding Forrester. It came out in the year 2000. It lasts two hours and 16 minutes. The director is Gus Van Sant. It's described as a sports thriller, also heartwarming, compelling, and inspiring. It stars Academy Award winner Sean Connery, Academy Award winner F. Murray Abraham, Rob Brown, Academy Award winner Anna Paquin, and Matt Damon, among many others. And now the resume for Finding Forrester. A unique relationship developed between an eccentric, reclusive novelist and a young, amazingly gifted scholar athlete. After the novelist discovers that the young athlete is also an excellent writer and secretly takes him on as his protege, they develop an unlikely friendship. As they learn more about each other, they also learn more about themselves. And ultimately, with the help of his new mentor, the basketball star must choose the right path now, will that path be the NBA with the potential of earning millions of dollars? Well, find out on Sunday, January the 28th, with a matinee performance at 2 o'clock and an evening performance at 7.15. Now, on Wednesday, we would normally show our, one of our classic movies with a classic movie theme. But this coming Wednesday, January the 31st, we are going to reprise a movie that we showed earlier in December, which did not get a big turnout because of various conflicts. And that movie is the delightful 
Holiday Inn, which came out in 1942. It lasts one hour and 40 minutes. It's described as amusing, charming, and merry. The director is Mark Sandrich. The music is composed by Irving Berlin and Emmett Dolan. The movie stars Bing Crosby, Fred Astaire, Marjorie Reynolds, Virginia Dale, Louise Beavers, Walter Abel, and Bob Crosby and his orchestra. A little nepotism there? Well, who knows? But now the resume for Holiday Inn. In this Irving Berlin musical, Jim, Bing Crosby, and Lila, Virginia Dale, are members of a performing trio who plan to quit and run the country hotel, an inn. But when Lila says she has fallen in love with the dancer in the act, Ted, Fred Astaire, Jim leaves town with a broken heart. After turning the inn into a holiday-only live entertainment venue, Jim winds up booking and falling for the beautiful Linda, played by Marjorie Reynolds. But when Ted shows up at the place after being dumped by Lila, he too sets his sight on the beautiful Linda. How will this all turn out? Well, you know, this is the movie that introduced the song White Christmas, which won the Academy Award as the best movie song of 1942. Now, will the Holiday Inn be open on Hanukkah? And if so, what will they sing? Well, you can find out on Wednesday, January the 31st, with a single showing, the program starting at 7.15. And now, let's recap. On Saturday, January the 27th, it's going to be the movie, let's see what the movie's going to be. It's going to be Coal Miner's Daughter, of course. How could I forget Sissy Spacek as Coal Miner's Daughter? Well, you know, as you get older, you forget things. <laughs> anyway, on Sunday, January 28th, the movie will be Finding Forrester. And on Wednesday, December the, or rather January the 31st, it first came out on December, but on January the 31st, we will be showing a reprise of Holiday Inn. And for the past several minutes, you have been watching Movies Preview at Five Star. While Channel 80 is dark, Movies Preview at Five Star can be accessed on YouTube. When searching on YouTube, Type in Premier Residences of Dallas. Again, that's four words. Premier Residences of Dallas. Premier Residences of Dallas. That's on YouTube. A new show is posted every Thursday. And a movie for that particular day is shown on the schedule by the elevators. Also, you can access our monthly movie guide, which also shows a very brief resume of a movie that we will be showing on that particular day. Now, Movies Preview at Five Star is recorded live, in case you didn't know it today, but Movies Preview at Five Star is recorded live at the Five Star Cinema and is co-produced by Ebony Gonzalez and Arnie Renteria. The director is Peter Solensky. For the movie committee at the Five Star Premier Residences of Dallas, this is Dr. Mel Ginsberg. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you at the movies. <laughs>